We've started with a new session and we'll now just set up the controls so that we can work efficiently. The MIDI controls and the transport, make sure that those are brought up. You may also want to see the region list. Across here to the ruler, good idea to bring up minutes and seconds. And also you will probably want the inserts A and E and all, as well as the uh, input output settings. We're now going to import some audio. To do this, file, import, audio. And we've already navigated to find the song We Will Rock You. Now we can preview it. Sounds just like it should. Convert and then done. We'll go through. It wants to find our location for the file and we'll keep it exactly where it wants to be. And we want to put it into a new track. So let's zoom in and have a look at the opening section. The bit that we're likely to want to make into uh, a wave loop. We turn it into slip mode. Make sure we've got tab to transients turned on, like so. And also this link timeline and edit selection key. This makes it possible for us to loop the uh, a region that we've created and check that it plays um, exactly in time and loops correctly. Just to activate the tab to transient, press the tab, press play. Now there's a man sighing just here. So we'll move on along to this one and I'll press tab to set it at the very start and then we come up to the edit separate region and we'll use the shortcut command E for the next time. Press and there's the next one just here and likewise we'll go to the tab and command E and we'll just check that it loops. Here, if I hold down the control key, it'll loop play and on the region that's been selected. That sounds pretty good. We're now going to bounce that section to a disk. And what that means is we're going to turn that into its own audio file which we'll then import back into the project, but this time with Elastic Audio enabled. So we go to Disk, File Type Wave, Interleaved, 1644.1, and we bounce. Locate where we want to place it, and we'll just call it Rock U Drums, one, and save. Now, to locate where that is, we go to the window, find project, Our loop and then locate it in the audio files. Make sure that Elastic Audio is turned on like so, and it's polyphonic. Then click here, and then the play. And that sounds fine. It's slow because of the tempo of the track. At the moment I haven't got the tempo up, so I'll activate that. And there it is there, 120. So if we speed that up, it will also speed up the loop. Um, like so. Make that 140. And we'll go back to our browser. Into the front. And press play. A little bit quicker, that's all. I'll drag that in now. and then drag it to the start of the track. Now at the moment it's in slip mode, which is okay. It was useful for when we were cutting it, but we now want it in grid mode, and we want to set a snap value up here. And at the moment it's eighth notes, which is pretty good. It's a good subdivision for us. So um, I'll zoom in a little bit closer, and you can see that it's already got the elastic audio turned on, and you can see against the grid lines here, because the grid's activated, that it actually has subdivided quite well. Um, 
to listen to it. We can have it so that it loops, just a section. We better mute that one first. Yeah, just play it. Selected. Yep, sounds fine. We're now going to reorder the elements within the part. At the moment we've got the, the two um, kick drum beats followed by the hand claps. And we're going to split at the eighth each of the quaver points. So we have a, an, under the edit menu, we have separate region at selection. So if we do that, edit, select, separate region, and we've got that little shortcut there. So we'll do that for each of them. Command E, Command E, and oops, it's misbehaving. Command E. Technically, we could cut off the hand clap as well, but that's also got a whole lot of reverb, so maybe we don't want to do that. It will still play back exactly the same, but we now create a new track, new audio track. We'll make it a stereo one, and we'll go with, we actually want to make it into tick something, and create. And now we're just going to drag in and rearrange this file. So holding down the Alt key, making a copy. So there's our kick. And we can put our snare here. And maybe we'll put another kick just there. And followed by two hand claps. So we can put that like so. I'll drag that one back just to trim it off a bit. We'll solo that track and let's have a listen to what we've got. We'll highlight that so that it becomes its own little region of selection and we'll play it. Yeah, well, that's a start. We might want <laughs> some additional beats in there. So we could, for instance, shorten that kick drum beat and make, make it a little bit more. And we might bring that one there up. Let's hear what we've got now. So I'll select that section again. It's snapped correctly. And that's one way of doing it. Now we're going to turn that into a new loop. So it's already selected. So we now come up here to File, Bounce to Disk, and make sure that the settings are the same, Wave, Interleaved, and 16, and we're going to call that the We Will Rock You Loop 2. Rock You Drums, I think it is. Here we go. And we'll just change that to 2, and save. Again, we can import that as a completely new wave. So um, coming, opening up that browser again, is it still active? And there it is. And we can preview it. Bring it in. And there's our new loop. So we can now loop the region. So maybe three times. And if we change the tempo, that should make it up to 150. This should stay in time, and all the other loops are all looking pretty good. So we've now got the original loop that we imported in, which is up here. But uh, that hasn't been um, activated as a loop, but whereas these ones have. So that you can see how they've moved off the beat, whereas this one here is snapping nicely to the third beat pulse and the fifth measure, etc. If we listen back to it, and we'll solo it, turn that one off, and play it back.
It's important to rearrange other types of audio loops as well. So you've got a bit of variety in, in the style of like a mashup, for instance. And uh, to locate exposed parts of instrumentation is important. And uh, in this song by Everclear called Santa Monica, it's got a really good little guitar line in the beginning. So I'll solo that and we'll just have a listen to it. And in listening, you want to count the beats and try to work out where the downbeat is. So we've got this space here at the beginning, whereas on a little bit further, we've got the actual rhythm. So it sounds like it begins there as the downbeat. Just double check. One, two, three, four, one. So here I'm going to go back to slip mode, activate the tab to transient, which is already activated, and press the tab key. Use the command D to do a split, and then count the beats to the next measure. One, two, three, four, one. So it's just there. Click the tab to transient and then do another command E. Now we'll have a listen to it because we've got this looping section on which is the link timeline and edit selection means it's going to play. That sounds pretty good. Now same story, bounce that to disk then import it back in. We're now going to bring in the guitar wave that we just created. I'm going to place it down here and drag that back to the start. And we're going to duplicate the track so that we keep the original intact here. So we select that track, come up to here and go duplicate and we'll keep all of that stuff. And that's the duplicate that we're now going to cut up and reorder. So we've got these elements to the piece we solo the track. So the loop's a little bit fast. So let's say we drag that back to about 130. And listen to it again. Yeah, that's okay. Great. And we'll go back to grid and now we're just going to cut each of the little sections up and here, each of the chords and then we start rearranging it. So we could have one section that is just the guitar little skipping strums. Okay. So let's know what that sounds like. Yeah, that's okay. So we could convert that into a loop. So we select those and then bounce to disk and give that one a name of scratches, etc. And we'd like to reorder some of this possibly. So we get the guitar here, alt copy it. I could put it just next to it, it won't really matter. Um, I think he plays two different chords here, if I listen to it. Da, 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 da. Maybe if we put those two there. And copy those again. I think it might be good to have a little bit of space in it. So, and we'll just do one more of those just here. Let's have a listen to what that sounds like. It's, it sounds like it needs a little bit of a, perhaps a little bit of a strum here. We'll just put one of those in, and then two of those. And now we'll listen to it. Um, well, that's one way you could do it. <laughs> So I'll highlight that and again bounce that to disk. So as you can see, you can then come up with quite a lot of variation that you want to combine together.